Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. Yes, the NFL reached a settlement, a $700 million settlement on concussions earlier today. And of course, earlier this year at Living in Digital Times, which is part of the international CES, we were there to cover Matt Hasselback. Hmm. So you just have to check out our coverage. But meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. That it unjust, it unlevels everything. It's okay. <laughs> it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because um, it's the most unbelievable thing. The Bainer, the President of the United States is going to have to deal reasonably with us over the budget and the debt ceiling. And I know that I can talk to him and, and make him listen. Well, um, no, you can't talk to him and make him listen because. He has no reason when he knows that if he tells you, I'm going to be in the hallway in 10 minutes, I want you and 38 Republicans there to kiss my butt, They're going to, he's going to be there with 38 Republicans to kiss his rears. You're not going to get anything from this president. Now, he's got the Republicans on the run, he's going to keep them on the run. Is it a crime trying to raise a family on a fast food salary? Here's the problem is, you're not supposed to, that's what her daddy said, it, it is not meant to raise families on that salary, folks. They're entry level positions that they want to be paid the same as, as, as skilled workers position now. Well, they are always entry level, like that you were doing, like your first job out of high school. I know. Or during high school. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just, um, uh, it peaches you to, to do work. It's just like the guy that had the paper route. Okay. Go listen to Anison Crusher talking at the uh, M. What the kids? Anison Crusher. Yeah, and he's talking about oh. how he started. Oh, Ashton Crusher. Ashton Crusher, which actually his name was Chris. So uh, he basically worked up his line doing entry level jobs until he got to a job that he said every job was better than the last job, but you have to start out at a job. Entry level is what they call fast food and. Yeah, yeah, it's called entry level. Here's the news from Herbie Daddy. They said, the Democrats can't understand this. They can't do what they're threatening to do. Well, first of all, they're threatening to fire everyone that's on strike today because they didn't show up for work, which is ground to be fired. Two, they're threatening to close down 3,000 restaurants and a whole bunch of other places because they, uh, they're not going to give them $15 an hour no matter what the president says. And four, they're never going to allow the unions to get in because the unions want them to be paid on a par with skilled workers. Which means if they do that, okay, here's how it works. Is every, every increase in wage at the bottom level gets an automatically increase in the union wages because they have to be much higher than minimum wage. Yeah. That's great. One person said, oh, we're looking at 13 million people unemployed if the president gets his way on this strike. Ooh, and no one but liberals at the 50-year speech in Washington, D.C. I know. Black conservatives are pissed off. Black conservative actors are pissed off. And they used it at every opportunity to attack Republicans. What are they talking about? The 50-year speech, what did Martin Luther King? Yep, and it was basically totally, a, it was a racist, anti-Republican speech. A, a, racist, anti-Republican, anti-business speech. That business is holding our people back. The Tea Party is holding our people back. The Republicans are holding. And then I listened to one of the one of the members of Martin Luther King's family said, the "Last time I checked, it was the Republicans that passed that got Martin Luther King's dream done. It wasn't the Democrats. It was the Republicans that got the Voting Rights Act. It was the Republicans that freed the slaves. It was the Republican to do this." He said, "I don't even like the Republicans, but it was the Republicans, was not that. the Democrats." And to, she said that her father would be the first man to protest the exclusion of anybody that didn't agree with the Democratic Party's principles at that speech. It was done at a public event in a public place and anybody that didn't agree with Obama and the left's vision of America was not invited to come to it to participate. Ah. There, it's why there was only a few thousand people that showed up for it. Mm. And Las Vegas Casino seeks to evict a raunchy nightclub. Okay. <laughs> we know what's going on in Las Vegas is that the clubs are now deciding for themselves what they can and cannot do. And that's not the, the, the problem was one of the guys said that it's irrelevant what the club wants. They said there is a set of rules that have to be obeyed by the club because it is in the gambling establishment. You can shut down the gambling establishment for what the club does. They said uh, 
Uh, he said, I, one guy said, I love it. We've, we've had a problem with that. He said specifically, I don't care what the club says is valid ID. There is, you know, you have to have a valid ID according to the United States government, not to what the club says is a valid. So they were letting anybody in that presented their version of a valid ID, which meant there were underage kids in there, there were people that were drinking or supposed to be drinking, and uh, $15 million they invested in that club, and the Sands is basically trying to shut them down. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Oh, wow. And DHS employed behind a racist website. And the Obama administration is going to look into it. Uh, they said they can't fire him because he's a member, he's a civil servant, so that he is now being paid to do nothing while they're looking into the into a very racist website. Uh, and you know, the, the, first of all, he's not supposed to be doing that, but they don't care because, and oh, he happens to be Afro American, and under the under the rules of the of Holder that if you're black or a minority, you cannot possibly be racist, as he is showing in fact, well, this was just an indiscriminate drive-by recruiting, and there were two white, two black people, one of them was white, well, he's a Hispanic and he wasn't white. They tend to miss that little ID all the time. There are a lot of very light-skinned Hispanics. The ones that are coming into the country at the moment are very brown. The ones that are here, are, have been here for some time, tend to be lighter skinned because they don't work outside a lot. And Boehner expects Obama to be reasonable in budget talks. <laughs> he already got that was not funny. He, hey, listen to Herbie Daddy. Mm -hmm. He thinks that's funny. And Russia sends warships to Mediterranean as Syria tension rises, as they and China have warned the USA about attacking. Oh God, they have, they're not uh, the so the Soviets are not sending warships. They're sending an entire armada with every. You know, we got four destroyers. They're sending the. The, the you know, like 59 ships there, they're gonna, Obama is preparing to start war, which is why he's waiting until after, they said they figure that it will be after three o'clock Eastern Standard Time when the news media won't cover it, when he's going to stage his attack. And there's a good possibility, I love this, the one, I'm listening to one, one Soviet basically now that's working for one of the news media, he said there's a good possibility that as we're expending all our missiles towards Syria, the Russians are spending all of their missiles towards our four destroyers. Mm -hmm. And they will have provocation where the Americans will not have United Nations support. They will be on the side of right by going after a country that's doing an illegal attack on another country. And leading activists as Egypt revolution back at square one. Yeah, because of Obama. Mm -hmm. Obama, okay, here's what... It, if the Muslim Brotherhood wants to go anywhere in the world, Obama is prepared. Here's Obama's thing. Well, we're hoping after this shot across the bow of Assad that he will get the message and step down and then there can be a political solution where the people that are fighting for freedom will be the new people in charge. Well, that's called the Muslim Brotherhood again. And Obama, oh, um, and leading activist says Egypt revolution back at square one. I know, he's oh. laughing because he just read that one. And Obama to go against what he said about the Bushes, his own rules when attacking Syria. He said you must have permission from the Congress of the United States and the United Nations before you stage any attack. But um, the trick is, he says he's not really staging an attack in his American interest to show that we can't stand for, um, for chemical weapons. Here's the thing is, that while it, as Hurley said, while it may be a thing that the world has agreed upon, the world didn't, the whole world didn't agree on it. Just the main countries of the world agreed on it. Mm. That's why the little countries have chemical stockpiles and they use them because most of the countries did not agree to any ban on chemical weapons and never have. And after 24 years, the San Francisco Bay Area prepares for a new bridge. There's not new bridge, there's no bridge, no new bridge. What? They're, they're, their bridge does not exist. They're, all they did was they rebuilt the south, the, one of the ends of the bridge that was lost in the earthquake. That was a long time ago. 24 years ago. And the GOP's Obamacare paradox. Oh, the, the Obamacare paradox is, is that there are people like Chris Christie that are embracing it. There are people that in the House and Senate that basically voted to take Obamacare because it's going to get all their bills, pay medical bills for them. And there are Republicans getting ready to vote in the House and Senate to pass Obamacare to fund it. So that's the paradox. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, 
And, and this one, everything that was new is new again.